"'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring except for every single one of your children, because they didn't take their melatonin. So since 2012, 530% increase in the amount of melatonin that's being used inside the United States. Much of that's attributed to 2018, 2019, 2020, because during that time period, all of our sleeping habits have messed up. So in 2017, there's a study that was produced. It showed that the majority of supplements that are over the counter that contain melatonin may not even have the dose that you want. They vary from negative 80% of what they should to 400%. But now that we have a lot of our children on melatonin, let's dig in a little bit to what melatonin is, how it works, and the top 10 things you should know about it. So number one, melatonin. Melatonin is a naturally produced hormone. When the sun starts to go down, our retinas recognize that. As that lowering sun hits our retinas, we start to release a little bit of melatonin from our penile gland. Now that tells all of our GABA receptors to increase what they do, and the GABA receptors are the ones that help us fall asleep at night. It's a pretty natural process, except for we've completely messed it up with all the blue lights and screens that we watch, because now our eyes don't know when that sun goes down. Let's not even mention about all the people who have to drive all night long, shift work. There are so many reasons why our sleep patterns are messed up. So naturally, the first thing we want to reach to is the natural melatonin. Melatonin is really a safe medication with some caveats. First of all, one to three milligrams, that's about top of what you really want to be taking. If you're taking substantially more than that, or you're taking it for chronic periods of time, we may have some problems. It's been shown the longer you take it at higher doses, the penile gland in your brain decides, hey, I don't want to work anymore and starts to shut down natural production. This then leads to you having to take more melatonin. Melatonin also has been linked to people's irritability being increased. If you look where melatonin works as a hormone, you can see that there's an easy tie to serotonin. If you mess with melatonin for long enough, or at least at high enough doses, you're gonna mess with serotonin. In that same 2017 study, it showed that many of the supplements carried a serotonin-like product in them. Because of the small regulation that is involved inside of producing these, you may be receiving a little bit of serotonin with a lot of melatonin every time you take that product. There's been complaints of vivid dreams, and that makes sense too. As we increase the time and frequency of REM, we're going to have more vivid dreams, which then ends up people waking up ornery and irritable, which happens about 25% of all the population. And then the last thing you need to ask yourself with melatonin is, is it helping the quality of sleep I'm getting or just the quantity? If you're taking it short term, if your children are having a hard time sleeping right now, for a few weeks, melatonin is a good way to reestablish patterns. Once you start having to take melatonin on a regular basis, there's been multiple studies that show that the quality of sleep that you're receiving has been diminished and that taking the supplement itself may not give you any more restfulness. Melatonin is also tied into regulating the menstrual cycle. It can change the length and duration of menstruation. Melatonin is a useful tool for short-term sleep, but if we take it frequently and long-term, there are many more side effects that we should look at. This is Phil Cowley, pharmacist and pharmaceutical expert, and this is America's favorite pharmacist segment. And today we've been chatting all about melatonin. Is it safe? Should you be using it every night? And what's it doing to our kids?